Two little boys found left on a bus in the heat. Now a daycare owner cited for two counts of child neglect. Six on your sides. Aaron Murray spoke to the woman who found the young boys and called police. So where were you parked and where was the bus parked? Well, we were parked right here where this Impala is and the bus was parked at them two windows in front of Chuck E. Cheese. Terry Phelps and her friend were leaving Chuck E. Cheese Friday when they heard a noise that stopped them in their tracks. We heard a baby cry and the baby was like screaming. So my friend's like, is that a baby? A police report says Phelps found a 10 month old and a two year old left alone inside a locked daycare bus. Did he look hot? He did. He did. And he was screaming like. It is, you hear it in his voice, you know, you can hear a dry cry. Phelps says she confronted the bus driver when he came out. Okay, so I'm like, hey, I'm about to call the police right now. He's like, well, hey, I don't care. Call whoever you want to call. The bus driver, Kager Haynes, owns and runs Little Big League Academy near 56th and Spring. In the report, he told police he was inside Chuck E. Cheese for only a minute and that a 13-year-old child was supposed to be watching the kids. But surveillance video showed Haynes going into Chuck E. Cheese with children, including the 13 year old, at 1235, and then left 24 minutes later. You know, that's, that is neglect. You know what I mean? If you was going to go in there, you should have took the kids in there with you. Don't leave two underage children on a bus. For 24 minutes, though, really? Police checked with the National Weather Service, and then at 1255, it was 88 degrees with a real feel of 91. And that's outside the vehicle. Inside, we all know the temperature only gets hotter the longer any vehicle sits in the sun. Fortunately, police tracked down a caregiver who said the young boys were doing fine. Officers cited Haynes, though, with two counts of child neglect. Phelps said almost every window on the bus was up. That is with the exception of two. She said there were two that were partially down, and these did happen to be the windows that the young boys were sitting closest to. But remember, on that day, it was over 90 degrees. Reporting live with photographer Brogan Ells, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News. Thank you, Aaron. Well, since the two boys are in foster care, the caregiver has to remain private. But she did tell us the daycare is a good daycare, and she calls this a very bad situation. We contacted the owner and bus driver. He said he is speaking with his lawyer, but we did not hear back. And just like that, Omaha is about to grow by 12,000 people. That's enough to fill half of TD Ameritrade Park, which is now yours, by the way, if you're in the annexed area. Today, the Omaha City Council approved the mayor's annexation package. It includes 14 residential neighborhoods and two business districts, but it wasn't that easy. The annexation of some areas passed by just a four to three vote. Some council members expressed concern about whether the city can now handle those extra services. A tame public hearing on the mayor's proposed budget unfolded at the city council this evening. But as Lena Tillett shows, as much of the attention was given to the library's budget, an issue that was personal for many supporters. Have our leaders taken leave of their library cards? The public hearing on the mayor's proposed 2016 budget is in the books, but it's access to library books that doesn't showed up to support. What are they thinking? These people on the city council have to use their own minds and vote what's best for the city. Speakers want the council to support adding $850,000 to the proposed budget. That would get to the $15.2 million budget that library officials say is needed to keep branches open and services available. Is more to discussion about where the library fits into our community and what place it holds. Library officials say more money also lets private donors know they're not dying. It is both foolish and flawed to suggest private dollars as the solution to balancing the library's budget year after year. Councilman Rich Paul says any increase might have to come during the next budget and the two sides should come together to fully understand what the other side needs. We're, we're talking at each other. And I think because each one is interpreting what their needs are differently. But after the mayor's extensive annexation package passed this afternoon, Councilman Chris Jerem raised concerns about whether the city could fund new areas and old responsibilities. We struggle now budgetarily with the library's needs. And so that, that causes me to take a step back and say, you know, perhaps we need to take a second look at such rapid expansion and growth. A concern echoed by speakers. 
Now, for the most part, people spoke in support of the mayor's budget plans. One group actually gave a full PowerPoint presentation on how more money to demolish vacant homes will actually make neighborhoods safer. The city council will vote on this proposed budget on August 25th at 2.15. With photographer Alex Hassel, Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News. Thank you, Lena. The mayor has said public safety was a priority in her proposed budget with more money for police and fire. They seem to be getting younger and younger. Today, Omaha police announcing the arrest of two boys just 12 and 13 years old. They were arrested for firing a weapon. Police say they hit a car in the area of 26th and Fort. It's the kind of activity that we see that's now associated with gang violence. Today, the Omaha Police Gang Intelligence Unit brought us and nearly 100 social workers inside the underground world of Omaha's gang culture. Here's the mission to arm men and women with information that helps recognize gang behavior and then intervene. They were shown gang produced videos and pictures of young people flashing gang signs. You don't have to be an expert on gang signs, but just kids throwing up hand signs may lead, may lead you to believe that there could be some gang activity on. It's not a definite, but it's one of those pieces of the puzzle. Police define a gang as having three or more members, so at least 30 separate gangs are now being tracked right now in Omaha. Our city by city coverage begins at Epley Airfield, which is preparing to take on more flights. Southwest Airlines announced today it's adding nonstop flights to and from our nation's capital beginning next March. It is the third announcement in 10 days about adding flights. Alaska Airlines is adding flights to Portland, Oregon beginning in February, and in November, Allegiant begins new nonstop flights to Orlando. An online petition is growing to prevent plans from proceeding for a project at 72nd and Maple. The plan, we're told, is to build a four-story storage building on the southwest corner where an old bank now stands. The online petition on change.org urges the city to deny a request for change in zoning and have the planning board find another way to develop that corner on the edge of Benson. The number of signatures is now nearing the 600 mark. This was an exciting day for UNMC as the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. The center is still under construction, but today a topping off ceremony was held to mark the completion of the structural framework for the 10 story research tower and the adjoining eight story patient care area. There's still a lot of work ahead. The 615,000 square foot building is scheduled to be completed in the spring of 2017. Nine beams were raised during the ceremony. They traveled more than 2,000 miles around the state over the past six months so that people could sign them. Pretty neat video there. Let's take a quick break from the news now. We saw the sun today. Will we keep seeing it? Here's Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe with your no-wait forecast. We will, Joe. We'll see lots of sunshine. We're going to see even warmer weather over the next couple of days, but we've got clear skies. It is 74 degrees. We do have the Perseid meteor showers going on overnight, so if you have a chance overnight to kind of check out those meteors, look to the northeast. Should be a nice and uh, quiet evening, and overnight, I should say, by the way, our wind under 5 miles per hour. As we take a quick peek here, we are looking at uh, mainly Clear skies across our area, but other areas are looking at some clouds a little bit farther to the south and to the west. We're going to show you where those clouds are, and we're going to show you how hot it's going to get coming up in just a few more minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Michael. A local group that supports victims of violence and their families is hosting a Day of Laughter event. It's coming up this weekend. Uh huh. It'll happen Saturday in Benson Park, a clothing and school supply giveaway. It'll be just part of a stress relieving event. FOTS, which means Families of the Stolen, is the group putting it all together. Members strongly feel after recent violence, this community needs something positive to look forward to. It is important because we, with the children and the families that have been affected by the violence in our community, we need the children to know that it's still okay to laugh. It's still okay to have fun. It's still okay to just be with family and to be with other people and laugh. Groups helping is made up of kids. These girls are part of a group called Stands from the Hearts, Many Hearts. They are an organization that supports children with cancer, and they say these types of community events are very important. Because it kind of like takes stress off of the community from like all the violence that's been going on. And I think it like for parents that like don't have enough funding, it like kind of helps their kids, like takes the stress off their shoulders because we know that Many Hearts is helping. If you want to give, donations can be dropped off at uh, up until 10 a.m. at Benson Park. The event will kick off at noon. 
A newlywed couple in Mississippi now has to answer some serious charges. Federal prosecutors say they plan to join ISIS during their honeymoon. The bride, Jalen Young, and the groom, Muhammad Dekala, got married in June. Their story was that they were going to fly to Europe to celebrate, but prosecutors say they were going to go to Syria instead to join ISIS. Dekala's father is Ayman in Mississippi. He graduated college with a degree in psychology. Super smart, super intelligent. Uh, always very polite, insightful, thoughtful, um, not radical in any way. His bride studied chemistry and both allegedly offered their skills to ISIS. Court documents allege the couple tried to communicate with terrorists for the past several months and the bride praised the deadly attacks on military sites in Chattanooga, Tennessee. But their communications never reached ISIS. The FBI says they were communicating with undercover agents all along. Well, tonight, a story that will certainly put a smile on your face. Some dreams were fulfilled from hundreds of feet up in the air. We want you to take a look at this, a wheelchair accessible hot air balloon. Now, this balloon is named Serena. It's after the co-owner's daughter. She has cerebral palsy, and the balloon it visits communities across the country, giving rides to passengers with special needs. Harold Poland always wanted to ride one as a kid. Well, when I was a kid, I grew up in a neighborhood where there was... Uh, a big empty lot there, and uh, they used to fly balloons in that lot when I was growing up. And as soon as I'd see one in the air, I'd run down there, tell my mom I'm going. I'd, uh, I'd run down there as fast as I could. Well, sadly, Harold lost half of his leg, and when he became wheelchair bound, he didn't think such an experience would ever work. All my life, I've gone to ride one of these, and uh, never been possible. I, I'd given up a long time ago. I didn't think it would ever happen, but the opportunity rose. But now, of course, it is possible. The event was put on by a Good Samaritan Society who partnered with the Dreamweaver Foundation. They provided about 20 rides in Omaha, and just seeing his smile mm -hmm. when he actually finally got in the balloon. Something that he's wanted to do since he was a kid. To Pretty neat. The dream. Finally. Well, coming up in a minute and ten. I don't think you can put all that information on a billboard that somebody's going to write down a phone number. But certainly that's the first thing we tell people when they call. Six on Your Side gives an Omaha attorney a chance to explain a billboard that is raising eyebrows. Just what is promised here, we'll tell you. And in sports, Ross checks in on the Husker Fall Camp. You're watching the Heartland's favorite choice for local news with John Nicely, Mallory Maddox, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPoy and sports with Ross Jernstrom. This is WOWT 6 News 10 at 10. One after another, more Metro students are returning to class. Tomorrow morning on Daybreak, students from Omaha Public head back. Join us before you head out the door. Wake up your day the Daybreak way. No, no, come on. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, man. When your plumbing's hurting you, just call Burton. Clogged drains, leaky faucets, broken toilets, old water heater, or furnace, just call Burton and let them fix it right today. Nice. Chevy's got three great deals to choose from this summer. Which works the best with your budget? I'm drawn to the 0% thousand dollars cash back. I've never, ever thought about leasing a car until I saw that deal. Now, let me tell you something that's super cool. You can choose any one of these deals on any of these cars. Seriously? <laughs> Current qualified GM lessees can get this Silverado All-Star for $279 a month and get 500 lease bonus cash on select Silverado double cabs in stock. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. I should have called Burton. Call Burton today and get a complete air conditioning system check for $55 and five cans of food we will donate to the Food Bank of the Heartland. An Omaha attorney says that he has found a way for some suspended drivers to get back on the road legally. And he's letting thousands of us on the road know about it. In this Six on Your Side investigation, Mike McKnight questions the lawyer about his unique guarantee that is hard to miss. The sign says long-term suspended drivers drive again in 30 days legally, guaranteed. Looks too good to be true. But the lawyer who bought the billboard says don't rush to judgment. What I can do is get, get it in front of the court in a way that hasn't been presented very often before. Tom Peterson steers those clients toward an interlock system that allows them to drive if they blow sober. 
If one year has, has elapsed, then you can go back to the sentencing court and ask that court to authorize the ignition airlock. The billboard that went up in May catches the attention of westbound drivers on busy industrial road. Peterson won't say how much he paid for the billboard, only that it led to 150 phone calls and more than two dozen new clients with suspended licenses that he's represented in court. Speaking by phone, one client on a 15-year suspension says seeing the billboard changed her life. Now I can go all over town and, and get business and be able to drive to work. I mean, this changes everything for me. Peterson says so far out of 28 cases, only one interlock motion has failed, but he's appealing. Still, what about drive legally in 30 days guaranteed? Money back guarantee. Money back guarantee. Yeah. So read the fine print on the billboard. Call and find out what your options are. Peterson says the law guarantees 15 year suspended drivers can ask a judge to let them drive again. After 28 attempts with one pending, so far he hasn't blown a case. In Omaha, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. And not everyone in the legal community agrees with all the statements we see on the billboard. It's not within 30 days all the time, and several things have to take place at the sentencing uh, for the interlock to be allowed with someone who has a 15-year license revocation. Some judges won't follow it. Some do allow it. So overall, it's probably a decent enough uh, promise to try and accomplish. The director of the Nebraska Department of Motor Vehicles, Rhonda Lamb, says her agency is taking a look at O's promises made on the billboard. The Huskers almost a week into fall camp. Ross checking in on them later in sports and Terrence Crawford talks to the WWT6 sports machine about his upcoming fight. But first in three minutes, Mike's forecast. As we go to break, we can take a look at tonight's weather almanac shows a high of 86. The normal also 86, a record though of 103. WOWT 6 News. It's been nearly four months since the deadly earthquake in Nepal. An incredible story of two men who are helping rebuild schools destroyed on that fateful day. Tomorrow on WOWT 6 News, 10 at 10. Whether your home or business needs a new roof, windows, siding, gutters, or doors, McInnes delivers high-quality products and reliable service. When you want it done once, done right, at the right price, call McInnes, your local trusted name for over 32 years. Hi, your daddy's getting a Camry? Yeah, I went in to have a really fun car. He's the best dad ever. Best timing ever, it's our clearance event. Here, Dad, it's for the car. Who's the coolest kid ever? The truth is, in 10 years, that Toyota will be mine. Get 0% APR for 60 months plus $750 bonus cash on a new 2015 Camry or lease Camry for just $179 a month. For more great deals, visit buyatoyota.com. You've invested wisely. Thanks. Toyota, let's go places. Menards has the sale that lets you save big on over 65,000 items. So get ready, get set, and save with an 11% rebate on everything. Hurry in and save big, because now is the perfect time to save on all of your projects with an 11% rebate on everything, including sale prices. That's savings on top of savings. Get everything you need with an 11% rebate going on now. Looking for a new or used car or truck? See the Bellevue Auto Dealers first. Seven dealers, 11 great brands. Thousands of new and used vehicles. Find low prices, five minutes south of I-80 in Bellevue. Kennedy Freeway, Chandler Road Exit, and Fort Crook Road. Are you tired of drafty windows? McKinnis Roofing is your source for high quality windows and doors to match your needs and budget. The local trusted name for over 32 years. So when you want it done once, done right at the right price, call McKinnis. Wake up your day the Daybreak way. Weekdays at 4.30. Right down to the neighborhood where you live. WOWT6 is the weather authority. Well, another beautiful night here in the metro area. Matter of fact, most of the nation looking at pretty quiet weather as we track any severe weather. Could be a few isolated thunderstorms northern part of North Dakota and Minnesota, but that's mainly about it. We're still looking at some very, very quiet weather here in the Midwest. 
The only shower activity I could find are some few thunderstorms over toward the Colorado area, right on the leeward side there of the Rocky Mountains. But for the most part, those are just kind of tracking up to the east and kind of fizzling out. Nothing back here as we get a little bit closer to home. We are looking at uh, pretty quiet conditions across our area. High pressure in control. That will provide us with uh, pretty light winds, which we are seeing now. Clear skies and very comfortable conditions. And definitely uh, looking at uh, temperatures tomorrow morning running a little bit below average. Readings across the area, 74 degrees here in Omaha. It is 71 in Plattsmouth, already down into the mid-60s in parts of western Iowa. Carroll's at 66, Denison 66. And then as you work your way back over toward uh, well, North Fork and Columbus also looking at some rather nice conditions at the sea hour. Current uh, temperature right now in Columbus at 64. Let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast to help you plan your day. There may be some isolated fog right along the river valley like we had earlier this morning. Nothing major, but temperatures as you wake up low 60s here across the board. As we go throughout the morning, mostly sunny skies should be a beautiful start to the day. By noon, we're looking at temperatures already climbing into the 80s. Few clouds well off to our east. Don't expect any problems here in our area. And by the afternoon, we'll top out in the mid to upper 80s. So temperatures tomorrow about where they should be uh, for this time of the year. And you notice as we hit the evening hours tomorrow night, if you have a baseball game to get to, if they're still playing baseball, yeah, they are, I think. What we are looking at, for the most part, clear skies and temperatures in the middle 80s. So again, forecast for tomorrow. Notice we're going to be in the green, so no weather problems when you see green. 62 to start. Again, there could be that fog. Just uh, stay tuned for that. It's not going to be a big deal, though. A lot of sunshine, 81 degrees at noon, and we will top out at 88 degrees. That will be the high temperature uh, as we hit the afternoon hours. 90 on the board Thursday and then 92 on Friday. Just wanted to give you a quick look here. Again, not much going on. This is our Thursday hour by hour planning forecast. A few clouds over toward Iowa. That's about it. You'll see some shower activity, but you know that is well off to our north and west. So that's not going to affect us at all. 92 degrees on Friday as we hit the weekend. There's a Maha Music Festival, 91 degrees, 92 on Sunday. If we see any rain on Sunday, it's going to be probably after dark, so your weekend just going to be hot and dry. Better chance of rain that will be on Monday with a cold front moving through, and we go down temperature wise into the 80s for highs, and those nighttime lows will stay up right now over the weekend, so it means it's going to be pretty sticky with upper 60s to lower 70s. If you want to check on our weather, 24 hours a day. Just download our app, our WWT6 News app. You'll get our interactive radar, which we're looking at right there. We're trying to find some rain. That looks like it's down around Houston. Houston, Texas, I think. But uh, we can get you the local forecast here across our area as well as the hour by hour forecast. OPS students heading back tomorrow, they so are. those mm -hmm. carpool lanes get a little longer. And they do, and the weather will be great, too. Great. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little hot at the bus stop, though. Just a little bit. Just a little. It's not raining, though. That's the good thing. Yeah. Hey, the pads were popping tonight mm -hmm. at practice. They put the pads on, and we've got all the full contact drills when we come back. Play catchphrase with Chris Maloney and Luke Bryan. Ah! Be there tonight for Kristen Stewart, Jim Belushi, and Yolanda Adams. Then Seth has Anderson Cooper and Tignataro. New Tonight Show, then Late Night, NBC Tonight. At Sunbelt Bakery, we believe granola bars should taste fresh. That's why we bring them from our bakery to your neighborhood every week. So our granola tastes like we just baked it. Because we did. Sunbelt Bakery. Bakery fresh taste and no preservatives. With Polylevel, we can fix sagging concrete with a hole no bigger than a penny. Polylevel repairs cost just a fraction of replacement, plus you can walk or drive on it in just 15 minutes. For fast, clean concrete repair, contact Thrasher today. It started with the wind. Truck guys can't stop talking about Ford. And now, during the Ford Summer Sales Event, get the best deals of the summer on Ford F-150. This year, they really kicked the competition's butt on this. Ford F-150 gets five stars, the government's highest overall safety rating. So don't miss the Ford Summer Sales Event. Now get up to $99.35 total savings or lease an F-150 for just $1.99 a month. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. People like seeing all kinds of animals at the fair, so where will they find them? You can catch those at the DNR building. Excellent. Always something new at the Animal Learning Center. They're great for the kiddos. Oh, that's the merry-go-round. I love those horses. That's cute. Give me a break. <laughs> Nothing compares to the Iowa State Fair, just two hours east of Omaha, August 13th through the 23rd in Des Moines. <laughs> 
The summer sales event is on now at Ashley Ford. Get 0% financing for 72 months, plus an additional 1,000 off Escape, Fusion, or Focus. Drive a 16 Fusion for just $129 per month, or drive a new Escape for only $215 a month. Please visit Ashley Ford or AshleyFord.com. Does Prism TV have all the channels we watch? That's a great question. Prism TV has all the channels I watch, and lots of HD. And I like HD. Get over 140 of your favorite channels with the Prism Essential TV package from CenturyLink. Now's the time to switch to Prism TV. Get Prism TV and internet from CenturyLink at our lowest price of the year. Just $65 a month for one year. Time to replace your old window? Don't settle for ordinary. Let Pella Window and Door Replacement help create a look you'll love. With more styles and sizes to choose from, Pella has more ways to create your dream view. And Pella windows and doors are built and installed to last. So you'll enjoy improved style and comfort for years to come. Right now, use great Pella savings to bring your dream to life. Visit your Pella showroom, serving Omaha and Lincoln for 60 years. At Sunbelt Bakery, we believe granola bars should taste fresh. That's why we bring them from our bakery to your neighborhood every week. So our granola tastes like we just baked it. Because we did. Sunbelt Bakery. Bakery fresh taste and no preservatives. Now, news and highlights from inside the WOWT6 Sports Machine. Brought to you by Bank of the West. Good evening, everyone. This was day five of fall camp for the Huskers. After a day off, the team worked out for about two hours tonight. The Huskers put on the full pads and had full contact. No, they still kept their helmets. The Big Ten Network made its preseason stop in Lincoln tonight and reported that linebacker Josh Banderas was very impressive during practice. The defense also picked off a couple passes. A.J. Bush and Riker Five rotated at quarterback behind Tommy Armstrong. Head coach Mike Riley talked about the first day in pads. We, uh, we did, however, probably do a little bit more just live football than we've ever done on our first day of full gear. Uh, we particularly got the young guys quite a bit of live play at the end. I don't know how many. Some of them may have got 10 to 12 plays, which is good. I think that our, some of our young guys got an eye opener about what the tackling of, of some of these guys is really about. You know, I, I think we had a number of runs where the backs really just ran through tackles out there. I think that'll be really good for the defenders to look at and be ready for the next time. The Little League Regionals continue today at Indianapolis. Omaha's Memorial team faced Kansas in the loser's bracket today. There was plenty of scoring in this one. The game was tied 6-all in the third inning when Nebraska loaded up the bases and hit a ball past the right fielder. Two runs crossed the plate to give the Memorial team from Omaha an 8-6 lead. The Nebraska team added three more runs to win it. The final score was Nebraska 11 and Kansas 6. The Memorial Little League team stays alive and will play tomorrow. In the PCL tonight, the Chasers opened a four-game series with Memphis. The Chasers lost the opener 5 to nothing. Omaha's world boxing champion Terrence Bud Crawford will hold his next fight in his hometown. Crawford will defend his title on Saturday, October 24th at the CenturyLink Center. Crawford visited the WOWT studios on Tuesday. I talked with the WBO lightweight welterweight champion about his future in the well, ring. Crawford said his next title defense will be on Saturday night, October 24th at the Century League Center and will be televised live on HBO. Crawford's opponent is not official yet, but there is speculation that he will face Derry Jean out of Canada, who has a record of 29-1. Crawford is thrilled to defend his title in Omaha. What about uh, the site of your next fight? What's going to be here in Omaha at the CenturyLink? Okay, well, great. What does that mean to have another title fight here back in Omaha? It means good, you know, for the fans, the people of Omaha, Nebraska. What are your plans over the next few weeks? Are you going to make an official announcement on your opponent yet or what? There's been some reports um, on the Internet that you might be facing a fighter from Canada. Yeah, that's uh, he's our front runner to fight, but, you know, uh, nothing set in stone yet. So we just have to wait and see. And Crawford will fight against a contender to be announced later this month. The fight will take place on Saturday night, October 24th, at the Century League Center and be televised on HBO. And we thank Bud for coming in the studios yeah. today. And I'll tell you what, 
It's going to be another big title fight on a Saturday night. Can't it beat will. that. Huge. Glad to see you're in one piece. You hear yeah. Bud's in the studio and you go, uh-oh. Yeah, i, I got to dodge a few of those punches <laughs> Just a when few. he shows up. <laughs> well, we'll final we'll check of Mike's Hour by Hour forecast when we come back. Chevy's got three great deals to choose from this summer. Which works the best with your budget? I'm drawn to the 0%. Thousand dollars cash back. I've never ever thought about leasing a car until I saw that deal. Now let me tell you something that's super cool. You can choose any one of these deals on any of these cars. Seriously? <laughs> Current qualified GM lessees can get this Silverado All-Star for $279 a month and get 500 lease bonus cash on select Silverado double cabs in stock. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. It's noisy and inefficient. Your home's uncomfortable, and so are your energy bills. Call Exarban ARS and get a $500 clunker credit when you trade in your old clunker for a new, more energy efficient unit. Payments as low as $79 a month available for complete systems. Get your clunker credit before it ends. Call or click exarbonars.com today for details. Exarban ARS, heating, cooling, and plumbing. Ah, comfort. Carly posts. Breaking up with the longest relationship I've ever had. Hashtag sad but true. Good riddance, Carly. Hashtag 96 months too long. Oh, the car. Right. Well, now's the perfect time to head over to the Honda Summit Clearance event. We've got great deals on the Honda Civic, the best-selling car in its class. So ditch that loser. Hey. Still talking about the car. Oh. Hurry in to the Honda Summer Clearance event for a great deal on your new Honda. into ethanol more efficiently using fewer resources. To learn more, go to Enogen.net, a Syngenta Seed Advisor or NK Retailer. Why do so many families choose Nebraska Medicine? Patients have the access they need to their electronic health records and online communication with their doctors. Patient billing is easier to understand with charges appearing on one statement. We're making it easier for patients to reach us and there are convenient locations near you. Find a physician at NebraskaMed.com. We are Nebraska Medicine. Thanks for joining us tonight. Daybreak begins at 4.30. WLWT 6 News.